discuss the first law of reflection that is the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. So let's start. As you can see over here, I have taken a box in which I have attached a protector, a sheet of paper on which a straight line is drawn, a laser projector, a plane mirror, some savillon and a glass of water. So now I will place the box on the, on the sheet of paper in such a way that the 90 degree of the protector comes on the line. Now I will pour some water in the box and add a few drops of savlon inside it. Instead of savlon, you can also use milk and detol also. Now I am placing the mirror in such a way that the base of the mirror lies on the base of the protector. So, so when the light is passed, the angle of incidence which is 60 degree is equal to the angle of reflection which is also 60 degree. To make it more clearer, I will switch off the light. And you can see that the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. Now, you might be wondering that why I have taken water to perform this experiment. If I exclude water from this experiment, and settings of the experiment remains unchanged, the incident ray and the reflected ray is not clearly visible. So, to overcome this problem, I will be taking some talcum powder and I will be blowing it. You can see, when the talcum powder was being blowed, the incident ray and the reflected ray was clearly visible. This shows that the medium is required and hence water was taken in the box. I hope you understood the first law of reflection. Thanks for watching.